In this video, we're going to learn how to respond to events uh, using jQuery. Okay, um, we're using the same um, source code as in the previous file. We just um, uh, got rid of the um, uh, script content for, for now. So, to start, we um, want to write some code so that we are able to um, click on the uh, on any paragraph, okay, and uh, change the uh, color of all paragraphs. Okay, so first of all, we're going to use our load function, and then inside the function, we'll uh, write our jQuery code. So we need to access all the uh, paragraphs. So the syntax is uh, dollar followed by the selector. In our case, it's uh, p, and the event is um, click. Okay, so in, in jQuery, it's a little bit different. So in uh, JavaScript, we know that uh, we used to use the onClick event, and in jQuery, it's going to be click. Okay, and then following that, uh, we need to uh, set a function. Okay. Okay, and now we're going to write the action. So first of all, we need to access the elements that we want to change, which is all the paragraphs. Okay, so we need the selector uh, P, and we're going to use the uh, CSS method to set the background color to a specific um, value. So the property we're looking at is background color, and let's set that to a certain color. Let's go for that color, for example. On this one. Okay. Now, if we click on any paragraph, we can see that all paragraphs they uh, turn pink. Okay. All right. So that's um, one uh, example. So um, again, so we uh, selected the uh, elements we wanted. So we're looking here at paragraphs, and the event is uh, click. And then, following the uh, click, uh, we need to uh, put the, the whole code of the function that we are uh, setting here between. Um, parenthesis and then we just um, set in the uh, function it doesn't have any parameters and all the code goes between curly brackets and we're accessing the paragraphs okay using the selector and then we're using the CSS method to change the background color okay so we can go for another um, example so let's say that um, rather than changing the background color of all paragraphs we only want to change the color of the uh, paragraph that we clicked okay mm -hmm. so if we comment that piece of code and just copy that okay just copy it here and now so rather than selecting all the paragraphs and changing their background color uh, there is a simpler way we're gonna select uh, the elements that we clicked and uh, for that we're gonna use the keyword this so what do we mean by that so this means that um, we are selecting all the paragraphs and we are we are saying here in the event of clicking get this okay so this refers to whatever elements we are clicking so the elements the elements that we click is gonna uh, see their CSS uh, changed their background color is going to be changed okay so that's what we mean by this so let's try it and see what happens so if we click on a paragraph okay only the paragraph changes only the paragraph changes okay fine all right okay so now let's try something else let's comment this and go for another example okay now we want want to be able to hover on any paragraph and have that uh, paragraph changing their background color okay so you're going to select all paragraphs okay using the p selector and then the events this uh, time is going to be mouse over okay and okay we, we're going to set a function between the parentheses okay and the function is going to be set like this so no parameters so empty parentheses and then open curly brackets and close curly brackets all right so we want to select this okay so we're selecting the uh, paragraph that we hover on 
and we want to change the CSS property which is the background color and we want to set that to um, okay let's go for that color as well okay so let's see what happens so now if we hover on any paragraph we can see there let's hover on this one you see let's hover on that one that one that one okay so it is working now we want to add something else we want to add another event when the mouse leaves the paragraph what happens so rather than mouse mouse over we're going to have mouse out okay and we want the uh, background color okay to return to its original state which is empty there's a mistake here so mouse out that's how we need to spell it okay so now let's see when we have the mouse on the paragraph we can see that the color is pink when we leave you know it returns to its original uh, state all right perfect okay now let's move to form fields okay let's have a look at this input we uh, want to change the uh, background uh, color property of the inputs when uh, it uh, has a focus okay all right so we need to select all the inputs of the web page okay and the event is focus all right and we are setting a function that uh, will change the background color of this okay because our you know the elements that we are changing is exactly the same elements that we are selecting there so this css and then we're changing the background color to something okay let's just copy paste and let's change the background color to um, something like this okay so let's try it and see when you focus we can see that the background color becomes uh, blue okay so let's let's set it to something uh, different let's go for yellow some dark yellow a light yellow and that's better okay so now we want to do something different when the element doesn't have focus anymore okay so the event this time is going to be um, blur rather than uh, focus all right and let's uh, set the uh, background color uh, this time to yellow so we're just going to go six f's so now we've got focus and we leave this goes back all right all right so now we want to change the CSS of the input when we are typing so we're gonna need another event here so it's something that we call key up so when we click on a button on the keyboard okay and we just leave the button that's a key up all right so this um, event we can set an action to respond to this event so rather than blur we're gonna have key up okay and we want for example the background color to turn um, for example blue or something okay let's let's try so let's refresh so now on focus we can see the yellow color okay if we leave it turns white and if we write something it becomes blue okay if we leave it becomes white okay uh, one final change we want is when we click on the uh, submit uh, button we'd like the uh, value to be reset to uh, nothing okay so you want uh, any uh, value that we uh, input there to uh, disappear okay to be reset to an empty uh, string so what we need to do is to okay let's uh, copy paste the same code previously and now 
we are accessing the uh, button or ID submit okay it's got an ID submit and the event is click okay and the function is gonna change properties of the elements of ID input all right so it just needs to be a string all right and we are basically setting the background color to white and also we are changing the value of the uh, input so so again we need to access the inputs and so ID inputs and we are changing the value so the function this time is going to be val all right and we are setting the value to the parameter that we are going to uh, use in the method parameter so it's going to be an empty string all right so let's try it now and see what uh, happens so now we've got focus we are right and then we click on submit and we can see that the value is reset to a an empty string and also the color the background color is reset to a white color all right so that's how the syntax of events and responding to events work in the next uh, video we will um, learn how to change um, HTML content and uh, attributes.